White Dance has launched Seed Dream 3.0. This is their next generation text to image model. So this particular model participated in the artificial analysis arena for image generation and it scored the highest ELO scores over there. So it was compared against all the other models like, you know, it was outperforming GPT-40 and ex establishing a substantial lead over other models including Recraft V3, High Dream, Image N3, Flux 1.1 Pro and Mid Journey V6.1. Additionally, it demonstrates the best performance across most dimensions including style categories such as general and photorealistic, anime, cartoon and illustration, traditional art as well as subject categories such as people, basically portraits, people, groups and activities, fantasy, futuristic and physical spaces. So based on the benchmark result, it looks to be a state of art image generation model, but we cannot just go by one benchmark. So here in this particular report, there are various examples which they show. Let's go into that. So this is an alignment comparison. Okay, here the prompt is two boys are in the haunted house. The boy in the front looks frightened while the boy behind appears calm. So here are a set of images generated using various other models. So this is mid journey V6.1. This is flux 1.1 pro. This is ideogram 3.0. This is C Dream 2.0. So ideogram is kind of failed on this prompt. I did not like this image. This image which has been generated by C Dream 3.0 is good. This is this has a vintage touch to it. But then you know the boy, the second boy doesn't look calm. The boy in the front looks yeah maybe frightened or surprised. Over here the second boy looks calm, but you know this is not that clear. I kind of like the image of C Dream 3.0 over here. Now the next example is this structure comparison prompt. Two 14 year old boys dressed in Y2K style perform a one-handed ground move on a stage as part of a break dancing routine. Uh, I don't know why these images may cause discomfort. I'm not sure because maybe the images are not properly generated by other models like this over here in Flux 1.1 Pro, right? But otherwise, this is the image which has been generated by Sea Dream 3.0, which seems okay compared to the other models over here. Uh, Mid Journeys also is fine. It's still okay. But yeah, you see the arm alignment goes for a toss over here. Uh, every, every, all the other models kind of struggle with the structure, whereas C Dream 3.0, uh, you know, shows good results. Now these results could be handpicked to show that this model is doing better than other models over here. So we can't completely go by that, but this is just an example. So here is another uh, aesthetic comparison prompt, uh, which is the prompt is a girl, one eye is purple and the hair on that side is blue, other eye is blue and hair on that side is purple realistic. So kind of all the models struggle over here in getting this kind of an output mid journey also struggles because eye is purple, you know, opposite color is not working out over here. And even image and kind of fails over here because you have blue and blue hair, purple and purple hair on the same side. So this is an aesthetic comparison test, which they have done. Uh, this is design comparison, sticker uh, uh, series design. So sticker one, a monkey is grinning with the text happy. Below sticker two, the monkey wears sunglasses with the text cool. Sticker three, monkey is holding a flower with a shy expression. Okay, and sticker four, the monkey looks surprised. Now, if you look at all the images which have been generated by the other models, I find Sea Dream 3.0 to be good over here. This is also not bad. Ideogram is not bad over here. Uh, yeah, for me, if I look at this, it's a tie between, you know, uh, Ideogram and Sea Dream 3.0 over here. Then you have text rendering comparisons over here. So, you know, this is the image which has been generated by Sea Dream 3.0. These are images which are generated by other models like Ideogram or Recraft or Mid Journey over here. So, yeah, even Mid Journey does not generate it properly over here. Okay. Um, so, the prompt is this a captivating and vibrant image 3D render featuring seven colorful ornate felt mugs, each adorned with a heart and displaying bold text representing the days of the week. Okay. So, you have Loon Smarts. Okay. Even in this, not all mugs has heart over here, right? Only some of them have it over here. The lively mugs are filled with whimsical felt smoke. They elegantly float in a dreamy enchanting atmosphere. Yes. Okay. The atmosphere is missing over here in some of these things. The diverse array of floating flowers adds depth and dimension to the scene. Um, so here they are putting the, you know, in recraft, the flowers are in the mugs. Yeah. So maybe Seed Dream 3.0 is doing a better text rendering over here. Then you have examples of comparison this is realistic portrait comparisons between various models okay where they say again seed dream 3.0 does realistic portraits okay you be the judge of it which model did it well over here uh, then this is about human portraits with higher resolution because this model supports up to 2k resolution natively so you can get 2k resolution images which have been generated so then you have comparisons with gpt 40 over here so this is a comparison for 
uh, you know this is cdream 3.0 and bottom is gpt4 oh i would say that gpt4 does a better job with this image compared to you know cdream because this looks like a printed uh, this thing not like a handwriting this is more natural if you see open ai even that is kind of missing this is a side angle this is a back angle but i prefer the gpt4 image over here the other images i can't judge because you know i can't judge the text over here but they are they look good so this is another comparison okay where you have the first image the original image in both cases in this image the prompt is actually to make the hair color purple and short so this is cdream 3.0 this is gpt4 o and gemini 2.0 gpt4 o struggles in maintaining the identity of the person whereas cdream does that better over here it has better prompt conformity and better edit over here in this it is about making a colorful picture so if you look at the colorful picture you know gemini 2.0 is kind of oversaturated in colors gpt4 o is nice cdream 3.0 is also nice i find gpt4 o to be a little bit better over here then you have this comparison which is about you know uh, you have this original image on the top and left to right you have comparisons uh, this is seed edit which is seed dream 3.0 and this is gpt4 o so here are some image edit or text edit comparisons so you have uh, original image and then you have seed edit and gpt4 o uh, so if you were to look at the prompts over here let me go to google translate okay uh, the last prompt is velvet material before this is i think i'm not sure why it is not done these translations properly maybe i'll remove it and try translating it okay no text okay the first one is no text so it's removal of text so you can see which has done a better edit i think seed dream 3.0 has maintained the uh, you know seen properly in the original image compared it to gpt4 o in this it's about adding merry christmas over here i see that again i prefer the gpt4 o over here compared it to this thing uh, C Dream 3.0 and the last one is let me copy the bottom prompt I think it was making some thing velvet basically so let's see the bottom prompt what it is see the bottom prompt it is velvet material I don't know what, uh, making this velvet material or the clothes I'm not sure this is the image of GPT-40 this is the image where again if you see uh, C Dream 3.0 maintains the image consistency so these were some comparisons with GPT-40 so for further benchmarks and other things you can read this paper um, so the architecture of seed dream 3.0 is same as seed dream 2.0 so basically it makes use of a multi-model diffusion uh, image transformer uh, it makes use of a vae encoder to encode your images and it makes use of llm plus for chinese they have a chinese uh, text encoder plus an llm for encoding text uh, the uh, image embeddings and text embeddings are given to your multi-model diffusion image transformer blocks so that is the kind of architecture okay further details on uh, training improvements and other things you can check out the paper on the c dream 3.0 specific details this model is available on dreamina capcut.com their ai uh, you know editor image editor but i currently don't have, i created an account and i don't have access to this model over here so once i get access to this model i can test it out this model has not yet been released in hugging face or something it's not open source or something uh, maybe in the future it might be open sourced it might not be open sourced i'm not sure about it um, so this is about Seed Dream 3.0, another image generation model from ByteDance, where they claim that it is state of art. Till I get access to try out this particular model, I cannot verify whether it is state of art. I have to just go by the results which are present on you know their paper as well as uh, this project page. So this could be very selected images. So unless you try it on your prompts, you never know how good this tool is. And hopefully this tool might get released in the future in open source, but ByteDance is also known to not release models. So this was a short video on Seed Dream 3.0. I hope this video was useful. See you in another video.